get them like lined up. No, that's our no, that's right. They're not the line up. They just have to be hand tight. A firefighter's camp for girls between the ages of 14 and 19 called Camp Bailout took place for the seventh straight year at Ashland Fire Department. Since its first year in 2011, the camp has gained popularity among the local communities and has caught the attention of several media outlets throughout the years, including the Associated Press, the Christian Science Monitor, and several local cable networks and newspapers. More and more people have gained interest in the camp's mission of encouraging more young women to become involved with fire and EMS services. During the final day of camp, the girls learned how to use the fire truck hose and also competed in an obstacle course. And then later, the students were officially graduated from the camp. What have you liked most about Camp Bailout and uh, what has been your favorite activity? We'll start over here with Devin. <laughs> I liked going to the ropes course, and my favorite activity was the free fall swing that we did there. I thought it was pretty fun going to UMass Hospital because we got to see all the women who work in like life flight and stuff like that, and see all the trauma centers. Uh, I also enjoyed the UMass trip. I thought it was really cool to see um, how many people were, had to be just for one like one patient, and I thought it was interesting how many fields there are for just one hospital. It's definitely cool being led by like women because usually you just see men and stuff, but there's a lot of women that do like a lot of things, so it's cool. It's nice. So. Yeah. All right, and what have uh, been some of the lessons that you've learned in this camp? Um, you have to rely on each other. Yeah. yeah. It's teamwork. Teamwork. Team is a big uh, yeah. thing you need to be able to if you, don't, <laughs> yeah, if you don't talk to like the people you're working with, it could end up being like a huge disaster. And, mm -hmm. Everybody yeah, has definitely. to have one job and people yeah, have definitely. to communicate, really good communication. Yeah, communication is key. And was there anything that you uh, learned about the firefighter profession that just like kind of shocked you that you just had no idea? Oh, definitely. A I lot think of it was things. like yeah. that less than 10% are women. I thought that was it's like yeah. three and a half percent now. Yeah, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. 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 But there's a lot more than you actually think because there's a lot that happens behind the scenes. Right. So you and never really notice. And firefighters know like it doesn't have to just, just be putting out a fire. Yeah. They like go yeah. and they can do help paramedics, you paramedics and, and TMTs. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's definitely nice. This is my second year. This is my second year. This is my first year. This is my second year. This is my first year. All right, excellent. And uh, what have you enjoyed? Uh, what activity have you enjoyed uh, most about Camp Bill out this year? We'll start over here. I like the search and rescue. <laughs> I loved going to UMass. <laughs> I liked um, the propelling, like the repelling that we did at the face school, and I liked going to the UMass trauma center and going in the ambulance. <laughs> I like going to UMass. Yeah, I like going to UMass, and then I liked doing the like water rescue, and we got to go in the boats. All right, excellent. Uh, and what are some of the lessons that you have learned uh, in the camp this year? I learned that you can't just rely on yourself. You need like a team to get something done. You have to have like a lot of teamwork and work together, or else you like can't get stuff done. You have to communicate well and be comfortable with your uh, other peers and other people, so you can work well together. Um, other people rely on you to do stuff to get to get it done right and stuff. Yeah, yeah like teamwork is really big, and you also have to have confidence in yourself and then everyone else. Mm -hmm. And is there anything uh, that you learned about the firefighter profession that just shocked you that you just had no idea of? Um, I think the repelling and then using the harnesses. I didn't think they would like repel out of buildings. I thought they just used ladders. And I thought that was like really cool to learn and learn how they did it and rescue people that way. All right, terrific. Was there uh, anything that you didn't like? Anything that you didn't like doing the camp? Or was it all good? I, it was all I good. think I liked it. Was good. I it was good. It was fun. Everything. It was very fun. All right, terrific. Would you come back if you had the chance? Yeah. Yes. yes. Here's a look at the students in the camp learning from Ashland Fire Department's Lieutenant Lynn Morahan and the other female firefighter instructors 
who are all from local departments. It's going to, especially people our size, it's going to push us back and you're going to be constantly fighting with, with it. So what we teach the kids at the academy is to get it out in front of you and that way you have a lot more flexibility. As long as you can reach down there and change the pattern and, and open and close this bale, you uh, and the person behind you is taking all the pressure. The person that's operating the nozzle really shouldn't have any any pressure that they're dealing with. But unfortunately, nowadays with uh, smaller departments, a lot of times you're running this by yourself. You may have one person. I'll never have three people, but Lori might. And yeah, I definitely might. will. I will. <laughs> so you kind of got to figure out ways how to put the line in front of you. Like if I'm by myself, drop it. Then I would I put the line like this, so I'd use my body weight to counteract the pressure. I'd do that, or else uh, I get on the ground and kneel on it. You do that oh, too. There's all different tips that you can use uh, if you happen to find yourself by yourself.